Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now move on to the next property for rational numbers and that is commutative property. Now what happens in commutative property? So in a similar way we will look at commutative property for various operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So when it comes to addition, addition is commutative. Now when we say addition is commutative, that means let's say you have two rational numbers A and B. So for these two rational numbers, if you add A plus B and if you add B plus A, both of these are equal. So even if you change the order of the rational numbers, their sum would remain the same. That is A plus B would still be the same as B plus A. So that is called the commutative property. Now, will this commutative property hold true for subtraction? Not really. That means in subtraction, A minus B is not equal to B minus A. So in both these cases, you get different values. So we say that subtraction is not commutative. Similarly, when you, it comes to multiplication, again in multiplication, A multiplied by B is equal to B multiplied by A. So commutation, commutative property holds true for multiplication. What about division? So in division again, it doesn't hold true. That is A divided by B is not equal to B divided by A. So now here also in this case, we will take examples of rational numbers and we will prove that how addition and multiplication is commutative and why subtraction and division is not commutative. So let us start with commutative property for addition. So let's consider a rational number A. Let's say consider 2 by 3. Let's consider another rational number 7 by 8 as B. So let us calculate A plus B. So A plus B would be 2 by 3 plus 7 by 8. So this would come out to be 16 plus 21 divided by 24 which is 37 by 24. Now let us calculate B plus A. So B plus A would be 7 by 8 plus 2 by 3. So this would be 21 plus 16 divided by 24, which would be equal to 37 by 24. So what do we see? We see A plus B and B plus A. Both are same. Therefore, we can say A plus B is equal to B plus A. So addition is commutative for rational numbers. Let's do the same thing for subtraction. So here again, we consider A is equal to 2 by 3 and B is equal to 7 by 8. So let's calculate A minus B. That would be 2 by 3 minus 7 by 8, which would be 16 minus 21 divided by 24, which would be minus 5 by 24. Now what would come if we calculate B minus A? That would be 7 by 8 minus 2 by 3, which would be equal to 21 minus 16 divided by 24, which is 5 by 24. Now, when you see A minus B is minus 5 by 24, whereas B minus A is plus 5 by 24. So they are different because plus 5 and minus 5 are two different integers. So these are different values. Therefore, we would say that A minus B is not equal to B minus A. So subtraction is not commutative for rational numbers. Let's now look at the multiplication. So here again, let's consider one rational number A as 2 by 3, another rational number B as minus 7 by 8. So if you calculate A into B, this would be 2 by 3 multiplied by minus 7 by 8, which would be minus 14 by 24, which can also be written as minus 7 by 12. Now let's calculate B multiplied by A. That would be minus 7 by 8 into 2 by 3, which would be minus 14 by 24 or minus 7 by 12. So here you see again you get the same values which clearly says that A into B is equal to B into A. So multiplication is again commutative for rational numbers. Now let's talk about division. Division is again going to be interesting because this is again not going to be whole true. So A is 2 by 3, B is let's say 7 by 8. So in this case, A divided by B, that would be 2 by 3 divided by 7 by 8, which will come out to be 2 by 3 into 8 by 7. 
So this comes out to be 16 by 21. Now we will calculate B divided by A which would be 7 by 8 divided by 2 by 3 which is equal to 7 by 8 into 3 by 2 which is 21 by 16. So here you see A divided by B is 16 by 21 and B divided by A is 21 by 16 which are two different values because the numerator and the denominator got exchanged. So they are like different values. They are not the same thing. So therefore we would say that A divided by B is not equal to b divided by a. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four-step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.